What's up everybody, it's Joshua Casper back at you with another tutorial. Today we're going to be making a uh, reggae style type loop. First things first, I'm going to start leaving my PayPal email. If you guys want to send me like a tip, someone called it, um, just send me a little donation or something to keep these videos coming. It doesn't have to be anything major, it could be a dollar, you know, 20 bucks would be sweet. But um, you know, you don't have to obviously, it's free, it's on the YouTube, but uh, if you feel like you've got something from my tutorials and you have a little bit of extra money to, you know, to promote that, uh, go ahead and send it to me. It's jc at joshuacasper.com and uh, it's to my PayPal. So uh, let's go ahead and get started, and of course rate, subscribe, comment, and let me know what you want to know about. So go ahead and download the sample pack, um, it's just got this stuff going on, these samples right here. First thing you want to grab is this Reggae 140 F sharp. Drop that in there and take it, take a listen. Go ahead and change the BPM to 80. Next thing you want to do is take this A bass and drop it right here. Now you can't hear the bass from my speakers because you know my setup and whatnot. But um, this bass is in the key of A. And this reggae, these reggae stabs are in the key of F sharp. So what I want to do is show you a quick way to kind of steal this pattern of bass with using MIDI and a gate. Um, get this same kind of rhythm going, but put it in F sharp. So go ahead and just take this uh, MIDI clip from the sample pack, new bass F sharp, drop it right here, and then go into your VSTs and take any VST. I'm using the Nexus. You don't have to use the Nexus though. Use any VST with a simple uh, sine wave bass. So go to bass, basic sine. Next thing you want to do is go to your gate, drop the gate on it, expand this here, hit side chain, go from the audio three, mute this, and play all three. And as you'll hear in your headphones while you're doing it, not from my video, but you'll hear that this is now playing the same way this bass is, but it's playing in the key of F sharp. And if you need to know what notes are in certain scales, look it up online on Wiki. That's a good place to look. But uh, there you go. So we already have this F sharp stabs with an F sharp bass line that's playing the pattern of this A bass. But this is muted so we don't hear it. Next thing I want to do is go ahead and drop a drum rack right here and then go into my samples and drop my snare and C sharp 2 and my kick and C and double click on it go ahead and bring this up to zero double click on that oops double click on that bring this up to zero then double click right here to bring a bar up click on your pen tool give it this pattern right here Click on this to highlight them, drag it out, click right here to highlight them, drag it out, and go ahead and run that and see how that sounds. So you can see we already got this kind of reggae feel to it. And just go ahead and adjust your volumes, you know, for right now. Go ahead and do that. Okay, so to add a little bit more to our drum loop, I've got this loop right here. So go ahead and drop this drum loop, drop it right here, and play those all together and it's going to be kind of really crazy. Now I kind of like what's going on right here, but I like my kick and snare from here. So what I'm going to do is grab a compressor, drop it on that channel, side chain it to the drum rack, the whole drum rack, because I want to, where I want it to drop out where the snare hits too. Kind of drag this down a little bit turn the release up a little bit and then run that and see how that sounds. So you can see that the the big kick and where the snare is hitting um, drop out a little bit and then fade back in for these kind of fillers and which I think was a pretty cool effect. Next thing you want to do is take your triangle loop, drop it in there, Drag it down, maybe send it to the right a little bit. And I think what I did before was take the compressor, drop it on there, and then side chain it to the drum rack again. Pull it down a little bit. 
just to kind of give it a little more of a, um, a little more rhythm to it. Let me click on it. Set your swing groove to eight. And another thing too is go to your bass, your Nexus bass, or uh, your bass, your VST bass line, and drop a compressor on that too. Make sure it's after your gate. Um, side chain it to your drum rack. Oops. Side chain it to the drum rack and side chain it to the kick. Um, and then pull it down a little bit. And there you go. All these techniques are from my other video tutorials, so just go ahead and check those out if you want a little more explanation about the gate and this compression, the side chaining and all that. But um, I hope that worked out for you. And obviously, you know, go in and adjust everything to where it's supposed to be to make it sound nice. But I just wanted to show you that real quick. I was kind of thinking of how to steal this bass line from, you know, this kind of reggae rhythm bass line and put it in whatever key I wanted and still kind of have that flavor to it. Um, but anyway, I hope that was helpful. Again, if you liked any of my videos and you have a couple dollars to spare, go ahead and send that to my PayPal, jc at joshuacasper.com on PayPal. Rate, subscribe, comment, and uh, I'll see you guys later.